Hey my people, what's going on? This is Major Major TV. Let's talk. You know what I do, get that morning. I daily call you when I can. Before I get my workout on. And I don't know. I just thought about something. I said I want to talk about you all. Keep in balance. It's a crazy world. And the reason why I say crazy world is because we already know that we've been lied to. A lot of us are living a lie. But the fact that we have to wrestle with ourselves and our people, even the powers that be, we're just looking at rally for what it is, the dressing rally at time. And for me, I feel like there's so many distractions and dysfunction going on. So much of things being spewed in the universe that people would hard down argue with you about, make videos about, even reach. out of the way to try to address things that don't even need to be addressed. Um, it's heavy, you know, just life itself. But when you are part of the movement and you really try to get a message out without getting caught in all the hoop line drama or being like the rest of them that's on some other ish, it's difficult. I won't lie. You know, then you have to be more concerned about your spiritual welfare, mental, physical, emotion, and just keep in balance. Then you have to know how to survive, how to create, how to maintain. You know, when you hear about sanity issues and mental health issues, with black people, that's real. But with everybody, because a lot of us are lied to, a lot of us are misinformed. It's a lot of massive manipulation. Behind the scenes, and we don't even be knowing that we begin, we begin getting drawn into things that's not healthy and very toxic and dysfunctional. So for me, the message is simple: take care of you first. Make sure your spiritual, your mental, emotional, and physical is together. Keep a balance. Try ways how to connect spiritually with the Most High. Um, be able to. Be able to spiritually feed yourself re reading. And I'm not just saying scripture. I'm talking about anything that can help you grow and connect with the most high. Meditation and all. Um we have to really, really pull our spirituality more. And be more in alignment with the most high and just looking around us, look how he created balance. Op opposites of everything. There was never meant for it to be perfect. But then we just built up opposites and for us to use logic to find balance. Same with mental. They say you are they say um you are what you think, you are what you eat, right? And, and how I take that, not throw you are what you eat just to try some kind of synonymous, synonymous meaning in reference to if you digesting, and I'm on a mental thing now, if you digesting a lot of toxic, a lot of dysfunctional, and negative things, stuff that you can't really build off, stuff that would have you more in a depressed state or wonder what's going on. You got to stay away from that. It's just like people that you know is not positive. People you know that's on that, that food stuff or just on some other stuff. You got you to gotta be, you got to put beware on them because it's so easy to go to 
type of people you go meet the spirits and what have you. It, it completely oh I'm just saying vibration. A vibration can be low. A vibration can be negative. You have to stay away from that. Real talk. You don't take a rocket sign to see if you're going left and they going right. Why would you wanna, you know? What to learn how to show tough love and deal with people at a distance. Some people are just not healthy for us. Real talk. Man, what you know about the rain out here? Really? Good thing I got a thing called a shower, so this I guess this is gonna be my shower for the day. But I'm gonna try the other day I try to Friday try to start walking. It started raining on my thought I could handle. I said, hold up, I'm talking about to turn around and go inside. But um I started my walk now. So um we have to, you know, just be careful because some of the reasons ain't is in always healthy, certain books and certain things you look at, television or what have you. There's a lot of things. These videos on YouTube and social media, a lot of stuff ain't healthy. Then on top of that, you ain't trying to inform yourself. You're not trying to separate yourself from all of that. Then what that say about you? So for me, I try to separate myself. People be like, you seen this video, you seen that, seen this. I'm like, what? And when they tell me about it, I'm not interested anyway. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not as concerned. And don't get me wrong, I can't be everywhere when they need me or every video come out, you know, I will catch. I'm not even on that same wavelength. I do what I do. I try to shut to the people. That be it. I don't be trying to be on top of everything. Hey, after you didn't read so many books, you didn't sing so much, you didn't live so long. Most of the people saying the same thing, but they are giving different perspectives and um, better perspectives at times. And I, and I salute them for, for that kudos. But for me, it's like every so often I'm able to squeeze something and check something out. I'm, 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 I got a lot of sisters and brothers. They be dropping jewels. I won't lie. I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and hate or say nothing crazy, but just so time consuming to try to watch this and watch that, and then also take care of my mental. So you know, I won't do my reading. I won't do my research. You know, I won't do things outside what I do with major TV and what have. I got business to gotta focus on. So for me, I gotta stay on top, and I suggest you do the same. And my phone waterproof too. I don't know about my earbuds. My phone was waterproof. <laughs> Earbuds go out today, hey. but um, I got some more. I sell earbuds too, if you don't know. I sell earbuds right here. But to make a long story short, um, I want to say basically, is you have to take it your, your mind, take a ticket your spirit, and um, you always you eat. And I'm talking about the health, the physical. I won't lie, I eat atrocious sometimes. Sometimes I'll be on that health tip. And I won't lie, it's just, it's just, it, I can say it's hard. But for me, the truck driving gets boring and my mind just go that right. That rain is coming down, y'all. <laughs> don't, don't swear around me out. I'm still walk. I'm still walk. I think I will. I'm good, I'm good. This is going, this is going to be in the wash and dry anyway, so I ain't tripping off there. But, um, what I wanted to say, yeah, you always eat, so you got to watch me. Watch put down the system. I, I fight it all, though. You know, I fight up a lot of things. Sometimes I feel guilty. I don't eat the pork. I miss the beef. Every once in a while, some poetry. I'm trying to just cut that completely out. You know, um, so I do vegan meals from time to time. But um, the truck driver, it's kind of hard to eat how I want to eat. But I make it do what it do. Um, I do come home often, so it's not like I can't prep meals and what have you. But the consistent pattern of it, it's off, and then I got to be consistent with it. I used to be vegetarian and vegan at one time for a little minute, and I had that urge. You know, I got tempted. I gave in. But, you know, we have to definitely watch what we eat, because we always eat. You know, how I'm learning how they engineer a lot of meats and foods. You know, I guess I've learned, I've been new about it. Um, it's pretty scary, you know. People have a feel of 
They said they want to have food soon, so I try to stay prepared, but I advise everybody, man, just be focused, be vigilant, be alert. So much going on. But a lot of times, they do, you will still get to react, spend money, and support a company that's not supporting you. We we'll have to be careful for that. Um, exercise, you know, like, everything start with good stretch, cardio. We have to do that, you know what I'm saying? We have to, um, exercise. Get a good walk. You have to always jog, walk. I'm older now, I'm bigger. I'm not as nearly as athletic because of my age, but I still get around pretty good. It's just keeping that consistent pattern of it. But it does start to die first. And I recommend juicing every three to six months. At least up to five to eight days. Just juice and water. That detoxing your body, you know. Definitely have something green uh, like kale, spinach and stuff like that. You know, for me, I do basic stuff after COVID. I do LA, LA Fitness. I had shut that down. Um, so I've been basically working my gym. I bought different things to push up dips. Um, got different dumbbells. Got a mat where I do my crunches. Six, six inches and all that stuff there. And basically maintain. Like I said, I, it's like for me, a switch got to go off of my head. I just take off. And so forth. That switch been cutting off and cutting off, cutting off. Cutting on, cutting off, cutting on, cutting off. So I've been fighting with a lot because of the job. That driving takes so much out of you. I tell people, it's easy looking at the thing. Who is an easy job? And so forth. So we just sitting down driving. You drive 8 to 10, 11 hours a day. When you're on that road a day, it'll bust you out. It'll be more mentally, more mentally draining than physically. They recommend you walk because you can start blood clot, you know what I'm saying? Oh, things can happen. You eating, just sitting there, eating and sitting there, you're going to blow up. I'm surprised, even though I did blow up online. For a minute, I was able to maintain it. But um, I need to kind of keep it where it's at. But it's been a monster, so I recommend everybody, you got to sit down, John. You have to, you have to definitely do cardio. We live in probably for everybody. You can do things like body squats, light weights, um, push-ups. There's so many ways you can do push-ups. You don't have to elevate. You can, you can have your body like I had on my truck. I would I pulled the tailgate down. Going, I was doing push-ups all that. I didn't even try to elevate my I know I, I like to elevate my feet. When I come from the, the ground up. Because my toe was my top. My big toe was hurting. Now I'm just then they crossed the truck and just doing it like this on the slant. And I was definitely getting to a nice um, push. You know, they kept us resistant bands for for um different things like arms, shoulders, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's weird you can work out without you know, even being around anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, to me, after how everything took place with the COVID and what have you, and just not knowing what's really going on. And rough as a, if it's fabricated and engineering and created. Um, if it's a real situation, which you know, I believe, lat over anything else. I'm just, I just, I'm, I'm just playing it safe. You know, point blank. And I recommend everybody do the same. Emotionally, we got to stay balanced. They have cut the releases around us. We have to. Help people that's positive. They don't have to necessarily be on your level, but at least close to it. You know, you know, you wasn't meant to not talk to nobody or have some kind of action. I don't have a big circle, you know what I'm saying? So that's intentionally. But the people I have around me, they're mostly positive that I know of, you know. Every once in a while they might go off in that <laughs> just talking about any and everything and I just be listening, but it's good to have that. Most of the time I have pilots around me and people that just all over the place. When I hit them up, when they hit me up and we talk, whenever we see each other, you know what I'm saying? So we have to, we have to stay balanced because a 
a lot of times, you know, we pick our friends awfully, you know, our family, you know, we, we can know a person, I mean, it's good. We have some people in our company, and that's not cool. You know, you got to know how to um, keep distance, keep communication at a minimum. Because believe it or not, you're going to stand out. Like people, like they're going to stand out to them as being different, acting funny. Think you know it all. I'm just being real experiencing me. I experienced that myself, but you don't worry about that. You just get elevated. Like some people be like, when I spoke to the kids in New Orleans, kids was like, one kid said, I ain't gonna never change. This kid was 16 telling me he ain't gonna never change. I said, what? He said, I ain't gonna never change. I said, bro, what kind of world you live in? This world is evolving every day. What are you talking about? You'll never change. But he felt at his tender age of 16, he could say that and not get a repercussion behind that. That he knew I couldn't. <laughs> I won't put my hand on him. I wasn't like he said something so bad where I had to. Uh, and I wasn't like that. I was just sad that he knew he could say it and get away with it. Now, whether he believed in that or not, he just, I mean, he was like, he ain't gonna never change. So I won't lie to I was young. We say it now, I ain't gonna never change. Now our kids saying, you know, what that say about us. That's why a lot of times we hypocritical because we'll say one thing and then turn around to allow our kids to do something that we're not willing to do. But it's just sad, though, but we, we definitely have to make sure that we're living a balanced life. And emotionally, it really matters to know that, you know, you're in healthy relationships where it's intimate. You know what I'm saying? With this platonic, personal, what have you. That communication has to be there. You have to admit when you're wrong. You have to apologize. Um, you know how to tell. You have to know how to tell people you love them. You know you have to know how to show people you care about them, and they're supposed to do the same. I'm gonna let you know right now. They say believe not what you hear. Hell, yeah, see, I say that myself. So you always watch a person action. You know. You always watch the person action. Your number just go off what they say. Watch the person action. The person they care about, it, it was shows, you know. So for me, I just had it on my mental. And that's why I say, we have to stay balanced in this crazy world. Spiritual, mental, physical, emotional, you know. We have to really stay balanced. And then we have to understand what's really going on around us. We have to work we have to create to create the income. You know, we have to make sure our foundation home is straight. You know what I'm saying? When you rent the own, and I recommend owning property, you know. Make sure you have insurance across the board on you, on your home, or rent insurance in your apartment. Um make sure them bills are paid. Make sure, you know. The most important things are taken care of. Make sure you put something away. You know, make sure when you have time, go have a little fun, or have a little social out, that you're not gonna be exuberant and you're spitting, spending, you're not gonna be all out of control or get so high or intoxicated that it's whatever, whatever. So when you come out of that intoxication state or that high state, the bill's still up. Life is still staring in your face. On top of that, your community is still suffering. So we have to be smart. Because if we was to manage our money more, we can definitely um, donate and help more. It's just, it's just a fact, you know what I'm saying? Definitely can. What's up, brother? All right, man. You know, so... Just... To those who listen, those who li listening, hear words from the wise. You know, hear words from someone who can really back up what he's saying and live in a certain kind of way. Is it easy to survive in this world? No, it's not. But you have to be strong, especially when you see your people shooting themselves in the foot and say they're pointing the finger, but not really trying to solve. Or come with some kind of answer to our issues. 
Um, look, this is Major Major TV. Just wanted to highlight my people to show y'all some love. You know, when I do my call, y'all have a lot of time to think. Between that time, I just want to share some real talk with you. Hopefully, I'm going to be of encouragement. And I love when y'all be in my live chat and I go live, as well as in the mentions of the comment, sharing what y'all feel, see or think about the situation. Thank you for all love and support. Y'all stay focused, stay on cold, and just be black. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Yeah, I need more